To determine the polarity of CH3Cl, we'll look first at the Lewis structure. And we can see from the Lewis structure for CH3Cl that we have this chlorine here on this one side here, and on the other parts of it, we have hydrogens. So chlorine is a very electronegative element, so we have a big difference in electronegativities, and the molecule's not symmetrical, so they're not going to cancel out. So this leads us to believe that CH3Cl is probably going to be a polar molecule. To be sure, we should look at the molecular geometry for the molecule, and that'll look something like this. Here the hydrogens are white and the chlorine is green. Carbon is in the center. So when we look at this, we can certainly see that there's one side that's going to be negative. That's going to be the chlorine. And then on the other side, the hydrogens. We can also take a look at the electrostatic potential on the surface of the molecule. So if we do that, we can see the red is going to be positive and the blue, that's going to be negative. So we do have two poles here. Two poles, that makes it a polar molecule. So CH3Cl is a polar molecule. This is Dr. B with the polarity for CH3Cl, and thanks for watching.